Hello everyone, in this tutorial I'll be going over the defensive options in Dead or Alive 5 Ultimate. Counter poking between a string is a good way to start your offense from a defensive standpoint. To properly counter poke, you will need to know the attacking points in a string to do this. Paying attention to a player's attacking pattern is also important for this option to work for you. The standard tools to counter poke with are jab, forward punch, low jab, and crush attacks. What a crush attack is, is an attack that will evade another attack, either it being a high, mid, or a low, and strike your opponent. I will demonstrate Lei Fang counter poking Hitomi between her string. To figure out the attacking points in a character's string, all you have to do is pull up the move details by hitting start, going down to fight screen info, going to move details, and turning it on for either the left or the right side of the screen and the right side will turn it on for the training dummy that you have in sparring mode. So to figure out how to counter poke in between Hitomi string I went into the computer action went down to record and I recorded the string. If you look down at the bottom of the move details where you see type that lets you know the attacking points of a string. So the first punch is a mid punch the second part is a mid kick and the third part hit of the string is a high kick that is the point of me counter poking Hitomi so when you pull up the move details all you do is pay attention to the very bottom part where you see type and start attacking with a character string to figure out the points of attack where the characters are hitting so mid punch mid kick into a high kick and I'm counter poking her before she can come down with the ending mid kick. The next defensive option that you have is a defensive hold. You would want to use a hold once you have figured out your opponent's attacking pattern. You also want to use a hold once your string recognition is intact for the character that you are going against. Holding aimlessly can result in you losing quickly if your opponent is aware of it and starts throwing you for it. It told me perform that string on me three times in a row and the third time I responded to it to make sure that she was going to attack me the third time in a row with the string. She could apply a mix up and not do that and opt to do something else. This is on you to pay attention to your opponent if they're going to continuously do something to you on your block. The next offensive option is sidestepping. To properly sidestep in Dead or Alive 5 Ultimate, you need to know what tracks. If you sidestep incorrectly, you will be counter hit by an attack. Applying more than one sidestep will prevent retracking attacks from hitting you. You can find out what tracks by looking at the move details down at the bottom from what I was showing you before. As far as counter poking, it also lets you see if a character's attacks are tracking or not tracking in a string. <laughs> From that particular string, as you can see, there's nothing from it that Hitomi has that's tracking. However, from that particular string, you can see the last attack of the string is what tracks. A proper sidestep was executed by me sidestepping the last attack of the string. That entire string will retract if I choose the wrong points to sidestep in the string and I will be counter hit for sidestepping incorrectly. If I apply more than one sidestep, I will be able to sidestep the whole string after the first punch. Stagger escaping. This is a defensive method used to reduce the frame advantage or the deepness of a stun. You can perform stagger escaping by rotating your d-pad or arcade stick in a circle quickly after you are stunned. This can prevent attacks from chaining together in a combo. I will demonstrate that by going into Lei Fang's back punch and into her down forward and kick on stun. As you see there at the top left hand corner of the screen under Lei Fang's name it came together as a two hit combo. I will show you that again. If Hitomi slow escapes, those two attacks will not chain into each other. Ready? 
See? No combo. It hit as a singular attack by itself. Slow escaping correctly or quick enough can prove to be a really good tool because it helps you out by not taking a lot of damage from certain setups. Most stuns cannot be fully staggered out of, so you will need to hold sometimes while stagger escaping, and if you read your opponent will throw you, attacking out of stun works well too. And I will demonstrate that using Lei Fang's down forward and punch. Down forward and punch will cause a deep stun on counter hit, allowing Lei Fang to fluently attack no matter how fast you slow escape. And if you read that they will throw you because they think you're going to hold out of stun, here's where stagger escaping and attacking out of the stun works like a charm. <laughs> Paying attention to your opponent is highly important when giving any one of these defensive responses. Just chucking them out at will can be very bad for you if you're not paying attention to them. I hope this video will help out your defense game in Dead or Alive 5 Ultimate a little better. If you have any questions on defense for DOA, post a comment below. And to keep up with more information on Dead or Alive, please subscribe to the channel. You can also send me a tweet on Twitter, and I can answer your questions on there. Thanks guys for watching.